going to explain how to make a simple clapperboard for a video production. This is uh, pretty much an exact copy of the same uh, clapperboard that is also uh, available on a YouTube video. Uh, however, I'm going to just explain it in a little bit simpler terms as to where to get the parts for this. What you're doing here is you're going to start out with a magnetic whiteboard from Walmart. This simple magnetic uh, whiteboard is readily available in several colors. I bought it in black with a black edging. Uh, the only thing is when you look at the back of it when you first buy it, it's just simply cardboard. What you're going to do is you're going to go to a craft store and you're going to buy some of this foam, uh, a sheet of this foam backing. It's about a dollar for two of these sheets. You only need one of them. Cut it open with it, cut it off with a razor blade to the exact size and using some spray adhesive, put that on the back and makes a nice finished look on the back. The second thing you do at uh, Home Depot, buy two end caps for a stair tread. Uh, they're already cut and rounded for you here. They're matching. What you do is you take the top one and with a saw, a table saw or a hand saw, you're going to cut a notch out in the top so that you can place a hinge back in, in there. This is a quarter inch uh, brass type hinge. And you're going to put that hinge in there so that this will rotate on that hinge point. The notch is so that it will have room to go down. Also, Home Depot, go to the electrical department, get a white outdoor single gang box blank cover. This is one cover cut in half. It already has the holes in it, already comes with the screws. Cut it in half, it's already white, put it front and back. This will uh, give the support uh, laterally for this uh, clapper uh, assembly so that because otherwise it's only supported by a little hinge. So it makes a, a really great sturdy uh, design. Paint the wood white to start out with. I primed it with a uh, oil-based house primer and then I spray painted it white taking about a half inch or three-quarter inch tape, painter's tape. You're going to wrap this uh, tape all the way down through uh, 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 placing the tape in close proximity to the last piece you placed. Then peel off every other uh, tape strip spray it black. I also taped inside so that the interior of the clapper assembly is also just white. When you wrap the tape around you'll find that the reverse design is on the back compared to the front but the way they are designed uh, uh, Hollywood or whatever they're designed with the angle going uh, at, like an arrow so that when you bring that open it separates the arrow. The uh, whiteboard comes with an erasable marker it also comes with a little clip to hold the marker with a self-sticking double back tape. So you can put that on the side if you want. I use permanent marker taping this off with two uh, strips of uh, painter's tape and coloring it in with permanent marker to make the divisions. This I made relatively simple because of the nature of any production I'm going to be doing is very simple. Uh, and then the rest of this here would be erasable. This would be erasable. Uh, marker. I printed out these in the proper sizes uh, and I uh, on a label uh, and I, I cut and I, I uh, attached these labels to each division here then I took some clear shipping tape and I cut and I covered it in clear so therefore the erasable marker will not absorb into the uh, the paper of the uh, of the permanent labels on here. The only other thing and the uh, gentleman on the internet also had done this is if you take some Velcro, you can place this across here so this clapperboard stays secure when you're not using it. Otherwise, it tends to flop around a lot. So that's one other suggestion you can do. Now, when you first get this uh, board, the, uh, the, the magnetic uh, whiteboard, you're going to find that this black border goes across the top also. It's held on with tiny little staples. Pull the staples, pull this piece off the top, discard it, take your oak, and with a router or a table saw, you're going to have to cut a slot in the bottom of this so that this oak will slide down. And what I did is I put a bead of silicone, clear silicone, glued it into the top of the uh, whiteboard. After it set for a couple of hours, I took 5-minute epoxy, the type that mixes right in the tube, and I ran a bead of epoxy all the way down here and filled any voids. And if you have room, you can put this in the back. When that sets, this thing will be 100% sturdy. It will... Uh, it will never come loose. So for approximately $22, uh, not including any paint, um, you can have a, a nice looking clapperboard 
Uh, it works really nice. It looks good. Uh, I did not add a handle on the end. I found no need for it because it seems to me that it's very simple to use it just, just like that. So uh, that's it.